afterwards. LeBron is obviously shoulder to keep load for you guys in this playoffs. Do you guys get a sense as a team when he starts to get a little bit tired and maybe try to step up a little bit more? I don't think he gets tired. <laughs> He's a machine, but um, you know, I'm sure everybody in the block room is doing the best they can. So um, you know, we got to take it upon ourselves, look ourselves in the mirror, and uh, figure out more ways that everyone can you know get involved offensively, defensively, do whatever it takes that you need to do to get get ready for game three. George, what was the issue early in the first quarter? They got a lot of you good. Yes, yeah. yeah. Looks. It take you guys a while to kind of get going there as far as the, the looks they were getting right at the basket. I don't know. You know, they just they did a great job of moving without the ball and things like that, putting you in different situations. And uh, they have three guys who are top tier best shooters, probably in the history of the game, if not right now. So. Um, we got our hands full, and you know they, they got some some easy easy looks, and that's how it goes sometimes. What's the key to eliminating Curry from three going forward? I mean, you can't eliminate him. It takes 17 of them things. You know he's going to hit some shots, so um, you just got to continue to you know pray to the basketball guys, do what you can, um, challenging all shots, and, and just don't let them get them easy ones. The, the switch that keeps putting you on Durant, are you all going to live with that or? Do you all plan to change that game plan? Yeah, it ain't killed us. You know, he hit some tough shots. You know, we, we're, we're fine with taking contested pull-ups and, and things like that. So um, if it comes to a point where he's just blowing past me and things like that, I'm sure it will switch. But, you know, fade away contested jump shots, you have to live with something. I said he didn't think you guys were physical enough when he came out. Did you have any idea when that happened? I don't know. I can't speak for everybody. You know, it's a team game. We win together, we lose together, you know, as a whole. So um, we just got to watch film, figure out how we can get better for game three and, and touch up those things that we made mistakes at. First, they were slipping the pick and roll early uh, and got a couple of easy dives to the basket. Was it planned to double team the ball there when the bell was setting the screens? No, just miscommunication. You know, I think that was some of the easy layups and things like that and dunks. But, we got to communicate better. Like I said, we got to watch film, figure out you know, how we can get uh, everyone on the same page and, and communicate a lot better. When you got to go on a little bit there in the third, what was it? You know, it wasn't just Kevin. You did a little quarter, what was going right there? The guy just trying to make plays, fighting, scratching, clawing, just trying to get us back in the game. And uh, We felt like we was right there, but every time we're right there, you know, Steph or Katie hits a big shot or Clay hits a big shot. And, kind of brings momentum down. So I think they did a great job of making plays. You know, when we did go on good runs, and they made plays to stop it. Did you notice a difference in the way that they defended the ball? It's like you were jumping in earlier in the shot clock. He was, it seemed like he was moving the ball pretty well. You had, I think he had 30 assists. But did you notice a difference in the way they attacked him tonight? We were a little bit more aggressive on the ball screen. I, I think he did a great job of picking his spots and, and trusting our team, you know, um, sometime. You know, you got to live with guys making shots or missing shots, and it's part of the game, and uh, they just made more shots than us tonight.